Hi, everybody. All right, here's <laughs> this is an extra special video, and I'll explain why in just a minute. So, we're doing two things this video. One, we're going to hook up the ailerons. Well, the ailerons are hooked up. Well, they might not be hooked up. We're going to hook them up, and we're going to rig them. And two, we're going to start working on getting the uh, wingtip lights back on. Because obviously, you know, once you put the wings on, first thing you want to do is hook up the aileron so you can stand in. Cause, you know, everyone wants to sit in the cockpit and make airplane noises. <clears throat> well, what's better than making airplane noises is having a stick to grab and actually having control surfaces that move. So that's what we're working on. Now, to do that, there's two jigs that Van sends. One is the jig that sits at the end of the wing and lets you know when your aileron is uh, square. And the other one sits on the bell crank and lets you know when the bell crank is square. You combine those two together, and that gets you to make the push rod between the bell crank and the aileron perfect. All right, because that that doesn't really change. That that can be perfect. Then it's just a matter of uh, getting the length of the main push tube from the bell crank back to the wing actuating arm, and then from the arm to the stick control stick. Just getting the lengths of those correct. You can see me. <clears throat> spidering along on my little uh, my little creeper there. I knew I was going to be spending a lot of time under the planes, especially since we'll be doing the fairings later, so yeah, the creeper is here. There you can see I've got the jig I was talking about stuck on the end of the wing. That jig, that is the miracle jig that Vans makes, is I think you use it, I think you wind up using it in every single kit. At some point, it's like, oh, take this and use this as a jig. I'm like, holy crap, that, those guys are geniuses. All right, so while you see me actually getting these, so you have to just torque, like I said, you have to just torque the length of the main push tube and the secondary little control tube. Uh, that hex uh, stock that I showed you put in, uh, being put in, I think, last video. That connects to the control stick. It's about just getting those two links right. And then you go and you make sure that the aileron actually has correct range of movement. And there's minimums and maximums for its up and down. It's like, for the down angle, it's a minimum of 15, maximum of 17. Up is, I think, minimum of 29, max of 32. So you just have to make sure that all those fit. Now, here's the ironic part. Well, it won't be that ironic. You'll just you won't be surprised. Uh, I'm doing this all completely wrong. So the push tube right connects to the I mean I call it the actuating arm. It's the arm that connects the rod from the control stick to the push rod that goes to the bell crank, because the two aren't uh, you know correctly lined up. There's like a foot difference. So it just transfers the power over. Well, there's a 12, there's two arms for that. One that holds the rod to the control stick, one that holds the push rod, and they have about a 12 degree difference. Now, when I saw that, you know, and, and, they're, and they're made specifically left and right, so they're made mirrors of each other. And when I put the wings on, I was like, okay, let's make sure that I've got the push tubes, these actuating arms on the right wings. And I'm standing there with the plans staring at the tubes and said, oh yeah, those are, those look right. Yeah, they, they, they aren't. Shockingly. So, what, what's happening is I had to elongate those tubes way too much. I got them to work. That's the scary part. The scary part is that even, despite the fact that they were crossed left and right, I was still, still able to get full range of motion out of the ailerons. <coughs> so, anyway, I got so frustrated with that that I just start, I, I, I stopped and I have started working on the wing lights. In the next video, we're going to keep working on these and we're going to get those things fired up because uh, they're awesome. Alright, hope everyone's having a good Monday. Thank you for joining me. See you soon.